It was an iconic moment, a world record shattered on a Chicago street, and Kelvin Kiptum was just getting started. There were predictions of a sub two hour marathon and glory at the Paris Olympics. Tragically, his life was cut short at just 24 years old. NBC 5's Courtney Sisk has more on the loss of a legend in the running world, Courtney. And Natalie, this is just such devastating news for so many people. Early reports from Kenyan media say Kiptum and his coach died in a car accident Sunday. Kiptum leaves behind a legacy across the world and right here in Chicago. The world captivated by a remarkable talent, then 23-year-old Kelvin Kiptum, shattering the marathon world record right here in Chicago last year. Kelvin, the world was watching today and you delivered a world record. How did it feel to cross the finish line in record time? I feel so happy. An astonishing moment, 26.2 miles in just two hours and 35 seconds. The Kenyan native with a smile larger than life did it, jumping into Chicago Marathon race director Kerry Pinkowski's arms to celebrate. But today, Kiptum captured the world's attention once again as devastating news broke. He and his coach died in a car crash in Kenya. According to Kenyan newspapers, Kiptum was behind the wheel of his Toyota with his coach and another person when the crash happened outside of the city of El Duret, a popular training location for long-distance runners in Kenya. The Abbott World Marathon majors posted to social media saying they are devastated by the news and all of their thoughts are with the family and friends at this time. Now, fans hold on to the memorable mark Kiptum made on the world and in Chicago. I knew one day, one time, I'll be a world record holder. I hope you remember Chicago because Chicago will always remember you for this. And we are certainly thinking of him tonight. His record was just ratified last week by International Track Federation World Athletics. Tomorrow we will hear more from Chicago Marathon directors. Natalie. A lot of people mourning that loss. All right. Thank you, Courtney.